All right, you guys, happy Tuesday morning. My name is Melanie Ships out of Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm so glad that you guys are here. We've got a lot of familiar faces that continue to show up on these 6 a.m. morning power hours, but we also recognize that not everybody can get up at 6 a.m. And for some of you, it might be 5 a.m. And for some of you other ones, it might be 4 a.m. because I know there's some of you that pop on here. Um, one of the things I wanna encourage every single one of you is to bring a friend on your team to the power hours, whether that's 6 a.m. in the morning or it's 9 a.m. or maybe it's at noon or maybe it's in the noon or on the weekends. There are plenty of power hours that you can tune into. So don't feel like you have to be here with this power hour crew. However, I will say a very special community here in the mornings because we love to get up early um, and get stuff done before our busy day, all right? So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna show you guys some tutorials here um, on how to get into income producing activities to leverage the uh, inventory that we currently have in our app, all right? Not only leverage it, use that inventory, but getting product testers, showing people how they can get the cheap, well, I shouldn't say, I hate that word cheap, most affordable, right? Um, the most affordable pricing on a piece of clothing, especially for new customers, right? So if they've never created an account with you, if they've never downloaded an app, you have $25 off codes that you guys can share. And my guess is you probably have a lot of them. So maybe a goal this month is to try to use as many of those, um, codes as possible and gift them. They truly are a gift that we have from Savvy. So you can gift those $25 off codes and then you can get people in the clothing. Now, the strategy that I'm doing this month is I'm gonna get as many people that I know in a pair of leggings, or I'm sorry, in a pair of, in a sports bra. Sorry, I have not had my coffee yet. Um, but I'm gonna try to get as many people as I can in a sports bra. My next goal in that, the way that I break this down is that I want to try to share sports bras that I personally love, right? I have them, I own them, which means that I'm going to get myself into the clothing, take a picture, and then I want to then use my own personal testimony, right? People like, know, and trust you, right? They want to buy from you. So why would they want to be in this particular sports bra? So you're going to get really good at making sure that in your copy when you're doing this on social media or if you're doing it in any type of emails that you send to your customers that you're telling them why they want to be in the sports brawl you're bringing value value added your problem you got to figure out what your problem is and you got to find a solution right this is how sales works right we know that we have sports brawls that can provide value and provide solution, all right? So what you can do is then you can share pictures of you in the clothing. And I'm sure all of you guys are doing this on social media already, all right? Um, but there's so many creative ways to do that. And one of those is being a product tester. Now, if you want to look at an example of how that's done yesterday on my social media, I did this on Facebook and I did it on Instagram. I then repurposed that same information and put it in my stories, all right? I created a poll. So if somebody wanted to try the River Sports Brawl that they could click on the poll, I try to make it as easy as possible. Today, part of my follow-up that I'm gonna be doing is going back in my stories and looking at everybody that's continuously watching my story, all right? And then I'm gonna to start to reach out to them and build that relationship, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna share my screen. A part of the way that I'm gonna start running Power Hours is really trying to set that expectation that when you come here, we're gonna get some work done. And then we're gonna be sharing um, ways that you can do that. So if you guys um, are seasoned here, I know, but we also have a lot of newbies we wanna start getting on these power hours to build that tribe and stay close to the fire. So I'm gonna try my best as a leader to try to help them navigate through that. So let me share my screen here. All right, can you guys see that okay? All right, perfect. All right, our beautiful community. This is one of my favorite pictures, I think, that has been taken from our savvy community, and it truly shows the community that we have, that we are one, solidarity, one team together. All right, so we, got, we are so glad that you guys are here. Uh, let's see if I can figure out how to do this. All right, I don't know. Ooh, hang on a second. I'm going to go through some of these slides here, but this is going to be quick. I'm only doing the beginning of the slide deck to get us into activity early this morning. Now, I was very, um, 
inspired by Christy Belliston. I don't know if any of you guys have been on a Christy Belliston power hour. She does hosts power hours and I love the way that she does her power hours. But Lisa on her team um, had shared this uh, power pose activity. And I really loved it because I think a part of this business is truly believing that you can do it. We have the um, tools to get you guys into activity, but it, it starts between your ears. And so I think that before you do any type of focused work um, in your focused power hour, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get into that superhero or power pose. So we're going to actually do this for the next two minutes. All right. So if you guys are working right now, if you can hear me, we're going to actually do this activity. And then I'm going to get you into that energy where you're going to feel excited to want to do this next exercise. All right. So what I want you to do, whether you say it out loud or whether you say it inside, I want you to say out loud with me. I am a champion. I am a warrior and I am a survivor. I am a change maker. I am unstoppable, undefeatable and can do this. I am staying close to the fire. I'm learning the skill set and I'm getting better each day. I am winning and will hit my goals. I am here to serve. Okay, I want you guys to pause. And then I want you to say this out loud or say it here in your heart. I am about to bless someone's life today. I have something that can bring value to their life. Because I am a magnetic person, energetic and excited, they're going to be attracted to what I have to say. I cannot wait to see who is the first to respond to my message today. I cannot wait for this exercise to end so I can get started making a huge impact in someone's life. Okay, oops, where did my presentation go? Hello, <laughs> okay. I'm new at this too, so bear with me here. All right, code of conduct, real quick. Um, you guys know this, but I want to share it because we are all about, uh, you know, doing the right thing. So we want to be respectful of people's times, be thoughtful when you speak, let the host host, and yes, please feel free to share as well. We love it when you guys help answer questions, especially as a host. If we have a question, if it comes up, and you guys go over to the chat and you share that, that is so helpful, not only to the host, but also to the people that are on the Power Hour. So please, whatever you do, do not ever be shy to ask questions on Power Hours, all right? Mute your audio when not speaking, all right? So as a host, typically we mute you guys out, but just in case ask for and accept help from others. And just remember that we are here to invite, share and follow up. This is a time to help you build your business. And then the host may share a few tips to inspire you into action. If you have questions about that topic, feel free to drop your question in the chat and the community or the host can answer, okay? All right, next slide, real quick about power hours, all right? What we're gonna be doing is planning out 60 minute time blocks per day to grow your business, okay? I am loving, loving, loving um, <clears throat> calendaring. It's about the only way that I can run three businesses and still be a busy mom and have kids and travel soccer and a husband that travels. Otherwise I would lose my mind, truly. Um, and I give myself a lot of grace. Grace is my word for 2022, all right? So I know I have big goals for the year, but I also know that time blocking is very important. And so in the hour that we have to work, you guys want to make sure that, um, you know, that you have that accountability, whether it's your power hour cruise or it's a friend, um, you know, you can share your results and challenges with. And that's why we love to be able to open up these power hours and do that in the first 15 minutes, all right? And then you're gonna set weekly activity goals and track your results so you can review you adjust and improve. All right. So the daily activities. Now I'm going to go into a fuller slide deck and take you through activities next Tuesday. I'm going to show you how to truly get through this um, so that every about every 15 minutes we're getting into an activity and then you guys go do that. But it will be prompted on the screen and I will have some language for you. So again, if you guys are bringing newbies to this power hour, it's going to be so easy to get them into activity because the example will be right on the screen. Okay. So when we do our daily activities, we're going to connect and add five new people to your list daily. Right. You're going to invite, you're going to invite 10 people on that list to take a look at Savvy. All right. I know some of us do 553. Five, five, That's fine. 
just continue to grow that number. For some of you guys that want to get into massive activity, obviously that number is going to be higher. If you're brand new to the business, I think starting off with, you know, being able to invite uh, three people is a really good number. You're going to share then the next one down is share a resource. All right. Our teams are really leveraging the ATM groups, whether it's your lifestyle shop for our customers or whether it's um, the lifestyle co for the business opportunity or the affiliate program. Um, that is the system that we're leveraging and get really good at doing that and sharing that resource. Okay. And then of course, you're going to follow up and share a tool. Now today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you first into connecting. We're going to connect with five new people and we're going to be doing that by doing a birthday message. Okay. So next on the screen, I'm going to show you how to connect and that's how you're going to strengthen those relationships authentically on social media. You're going to connect with existing customers and you're going to curate your weekly social media content. Okay. Now, for the next five minutes, what we're going to do first is I want to make sure that you've left this power hour connecting with at least five people, okay? And one of the easiest ways to do this and one of the easiest ways that I do this to get conversations moving is a birthday message. Now, birthday messages. All right. So what you can do, and I did uh, take this screenshot from Christy Belliston. I cannot take credit for this. This is what she is doing on her team unity. And I love it. Okay. So birthday messages, what she has you do is you go and you find, and we can do this together, you guys, um, <clears throat> especially since most of us are probably on our phone right now. I cannot see chats uh, because I'm sharing my screen. Um, so if there is a chat going on right now, oh my goodness, there is. Hang on just a second and let me look. Okay, let me see. Okay, good. I got chat open. So if you guys do have a question, feel free to drop it and I will be prompted to look at it. Okay. And Michelle says she does birthday messages every day. Michelle, aren't they so easy? <laughs> and they just brighten someone's day. All right. If someone has great birthday language, please drop that too. We'll have some examples here on the screen. But what you're going to want to do is go to your social media and you're going to find, let's see here, uh, events. And you're going to find the birthdays, today's birthdays. Okay. Um, I'm looking on my phone right now and you're going to find the birthdays. And what you're going to do is you have the option, you guys, and be careful about this uh, because Facebook has set this up so that if you click a button, your birthday message actually goes onto their feed. And I did that for 10 people one day and I'm like, oh, <laughs> oops, I took my birthday message that should have been in their private Facebook message and it was all over their feed. I'm like, oh God, that looked like copy and paste. Okay. Oops. So don't make that mistake. Make sure it's going, <laughs> it's going into their private message. All right. Um, and so as you can see over here for Carissa Holland, um, it's her birthday today and we can go over into Facebook messenger and that birthday message could say happy birthday, amazing lady, wishing you the best on your special day and celebrating you any fun plans, question mark. So that is a call to action. You are actually asking them a question. And in return, you guys, they hopefully will come back and let you know what um, their plans are. And it's from there where you can grow that relationship. Okay. So for the next five minutes, I'm going to have us go in and look at all of your friends and family that might have a birthday today and go ahead and send them that message. Just want to make sure that I don't yeah, here we go. This is exactly what I was talking about. So if you guys are looking on the screen right here, um, you can also search up birthdays and it's going to show you the birthdays. And uh, again, you just want to make sure that you're getting into their messenger. So you're going to be clicking the message button. Otherwise, if you see right here for Rick, if I actually clicked this, this is going to go on his personal feed and you don't, you could do that. But if you're trying to create a conversation, try to make sure you're getting in Facebook messenger. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set my timer.
All right, I see the question in the chat. It says, I am not seeing birthdays in the event section. So <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see my phone, but when I open up Facebook, in the bottom right-hand corner, you're gonna see a menu. I call it the hamburger. It's the three horizontal lines. You're gonna click on that, okay? And then you're gonna scroll down and just keep scrolling until you see, oh boy, I just had it. <laughs> Where did it go? Hang on. In the upper right hand corner is you're going to see a magnifying glass. You're going to click on it. You're going to type in birthday. And you should see the first thing on there. It should say birthday, see upcoming birthdays. Do you guys see that? Did that work for you? Well, let's all answer your question in just a second. I'm gonna do this activity with you so I can get my birthday messages in with you guys. I know as a host, sometimes it's hard to get some of our daily activities done, but we're gonna do this together, okay? Yes, Taylor, even if you do not know these people, if you're friends with them on Facebook, then there must be some connection there. This would be a great way to reconnect with them. I'm actually gonna go back a slide so you guys can see that language. <clears throat> <clears throat> Julie Gurky. She's on our happy birthday, friend. She usually does our power hours. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> you get some power hour community love today if you're on. If not, you're catching the replay. We love you. Ellie Mae Miller, she's another one on our team. Her birthday's in three days. You guys, this is so fun, <clears throat> truly.
We'll take about one more minute. Feel free to uh, send happy belated birthday messages too. I went ahead and kept going down and I said, happy belated birthday, Bridget, wishing you the best on your special day and celebrating you. Did you do anything fun? Sabrina's birthday was yesterday. <laughs> Lots of power hour people. Now, how good did that feel, you guys? <clears throat> how good did that feel? Sending birthday love. I'm going to count my messages. One, two, three. Fifteen messages just like that. Five minutes. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on because the next activity we're gonna do is income producing and getting you guys into that current inventory. So, <clears throat> all right, so the income producing activity that I'm gonna show you today is being a product tester, all right? And <clears throat> what I had did, what I had did, hello. <clears throat> what I had, I have done <laughs> is why we sat and watched football on Sunday. <clears throat> I opened up my computer and I looked in the savvy.com website and I wrote down every single sports brawl. Actually, I wrote it down. I wanted to make sure that there was good inventory, there was good sizing and there's good colors. All right. Um, I also documented that if we only had extra smalls and smalls that I was still going to document this on my spreadsheet, which I will be sharing on my screen and with this group. Um, is that I also wanted to be able to get teens and preteens and sports brawls. And I wanted to make sure that while I was taking the time to get into the website, that I was looking at that subgroup, all right? And I could actually document the sports brawls. I knew we had a lot of extra smalls and smalls, okay? I also wanted to pay close attention to the sports brawls that also were plus size, 1X to 3X, okay? So that as I was talking to people and I knew that they were bigger chested, that I could really focus in on and zone in on those sports brawls as well. Now, I'm gonna show you a feature on the website you guys may or may not know that you also can do this very easy and quickly, okay? And so what I did is I wanted to take our newest product, the River Sports Brawl, I'm obsessed um, I love high impact activities. I love to run. I'm getting ready to start training for a mini marathon. So I'm wanting to make sure I have um, coverage for when I'm doing the running. And so I love the river sports brawl and there's lots of colors, lots of sizes. I wanted to be able to put it on my body and take pictures so that they could see the front and back, which you can see on the picture here on the screen is that I was able to get good lighting. I use a app called Lightroom. If you guys don't have it, you don't have to get it, but I do really recommend that when you're taking your pictures, make sure that the lighting is good, okay? Um, and then I also did a video. So if you guys want to see that video, again, go to my social media on Facebook and Instagram, and you can listen to how I did my video and my testimonial on it, all right? Why I love it and why they need it and the features that I loved the most. Okay. And then you can show the retail price, which in this case, this river brawl is $68. And then you can show the price with the $25 off retail. Okay. So the product tester price is $43 for the river sports brawl. All right. You can position this for new customers only. So if you do a graphic like this, again, if some, if you're a current customer saw this, they would want that pricing, right? It might attract them to say, hey, I want $43. Your conversation, you guys have to be ready for that conversation to say, we can definitely get you that deeper discount and this is how, and this is how you could be able to share that VIP style club at $99 and get $110 product credit and then get that 15% off, okay? And then I'm gonna show you that spreadsheet so you can then tell them right then and there what that price is, so stay tuned for that. And then get creative in the way that you do your testimonial on the product, all right? So this is a week that I want you guys to really practice how to do this and to get in clothing. So when you're looking at your savvy inventory, 
maybe you don't want to do a sports bra. Maybe your focus is leggings because you just love the Koza legging, which we have a lot of, or the soulless legging, then do your product tests on that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing this um, presentation. And then I'm going to take you guys over here. Uh, bear with me here as I can get this off the screen. Okay. So again, I'm going to show you this spreadsheet. When you're a hostess, you got all these little buttons and things on the screen. It gets in my way. So, okay. So here is what I call the Savvy Stock Pricing Spreadsheet. Now I'm gonna share this with you guys. I'll drop this in the chat right now so you have it. Feel free to share the love and share it with everybody that you want. It's fine. I plan on keeping this up to date because this is how I'm going to be growing my business. And I wanna make sure that this asset is always there for me. Um, copy the link over to the chat. And yes, I did make my graphic in Canva. <laughs> I love Canva. All right, there's your spreadsheet, okay? So now you guys have that, all right? So let's go through what is on the spreadsheet real quick. So my husband's a math whiz, so I sat with him while we're watching football and I go, honey, please help me create a spreadsheet that all I have to do is input the retail price and it's gonna show me the $25 off price. It's gonna show me the style club price at 10%. It will show me the VIP style club at 15%. And then of course our pricing of wholesale, all right? And then any note that I wanted to put there. All right. So for example, the sun brawl, it's a great brawl for a swimsuit top, by the way. <laughs> um, so little things like that is what I would put in the note. OK, so as you guys can see here in the sizing, I wanted to make sure that I really tuned into that too, the sizing um, so that as I'm talking to my prospects, I could go right to this spreadsheet and it would tell me whether or not their size is available. OK, down here, I created a little subset group. Um, so if I'm talking to my girlfriends that have daughters that are teens or preteens, then I could really leverage these sports bras because I knew that the stock was good. I also made a note in the column to state if there's anything that was notable that I would need to know in my conversations. OK, I also did the same for the plus sizes. OK. Um, and I, I do keep this pretty up to date now. Um, I might make it so that anybody can update it, but I'm not there yet. I, I, I'm i still creating this. And then on the bottom, you guys, I think you can see this, but there is also a sub tab for leggings. So I'm building out leggings. It's definitely not my focus right now, but this will start to build out. The only leggings I did put on here for, so far are the sets, because as I'm sharing the Stanga bra, or I'm sharing the reef bra, or I'm sharing the summer bra, I want to also be able to upsell them on the full set. And you're going to see that in the graphics that I put together, that when I do share a graphic for the Ashtanga, I'm also going to be sharing um, a picture of the legging as well, because I really want to get people in the full outfit. OK, and then also layering pieces. I will be building this out as more pieces are dropping. All right. But for now, the bra is all done. All right. It's all done. All right. So what I want to show you now is shop the drop. Um, on the website, what you guys can do here is if you look at shop all and you do the down button. Um, and I go over to bra, so I click bra. Um, make sure I can see you guys too, is if I didn't have this spreadsheet. So if you guys are watching this and you're like, gosh, I wish I had that spreadsheet. It's, a, it's available. Um, and I'm sure amongst all of us, we can get the word out, but um, you guys can do this too. And all you have to do is click on bra. You can go down to size. And let's just say that my prospect is a size extra large. Okay, so I can click on look extra large. And here the website does the work for me. So it shows me all of the bras that are in extra large. OK, if I have someone that is plus size, maybe they have the bigger chest, you know, maybe they're a size 38 double D. Right. And and maybe they're in all of these sizes here. I want to make sure to click them all just to make sure they're all pulling in. Um, and then you can click open this picture, obviously. And this is where you can go and get some more of those details. OK, so then on the Kiwi brawl, for example, you know, in an extra large, it's going to show me that the pink nude snake skin is going to be the only one that would fit them if they were an extra small. 
Okay. So my spreadsheet's a little bit more comprehensive, a bird's eye view on what I know the inventory holds. Okay. All right. So next thing I want to share you is the graphics that I use. Okay. So let me go over here, go back home here. The internet's a little slow. Slow loading here. Not at all surprised. In my office, I have a dead zone. Okay. So on these graphics that I create, And I will drop these graphics for you guys. Feel free to use them. Okay, so this is just an example of how you can do this. And I always wanna empower you guys to be able to do the work, all right? You can use Canva. There's plenty of templates out there. Mine are more branded because that's just what I love to do, okay? Um, but for example, so we've had Ashtanga Sports Bra. I'm showing retail pricing at 62, product tester at 37. Ashtanga Bra is one that if you have a prospect that has money objections and don't take money objections personal you guys because people are coming right out of a holiday season and they just spend a lot of money i still tell my kids right now they're like i want this and that i'm like do you even understand how much i spent on you for christmas <laughs> right so when you're talking to your prospects same thing they they might have some objection around the money so your job you guys is to provide value and make sure they're getting the deepest discount possible, okay? So that's why I think that this product tester example is gonna be very powerful in your business, all right? There again is the Ashtanga legging. So again, I would be sharing this set. If I do send the bra, I'm gonna say, hey, by the way, I just wanna make sure you're aware that we have a legging that matches it and I highly recommend it and this is why. Again, summer sports bra, same thing. It comes in a set. You can get that summer sports bra for $23, you guys. Remember Sommer and Ashtanga. If you guys are not aware of this, the Sommer is very similar to Ashtanga, but Sommer has more compression. And so if you do not have the Sommer, make sure you're going over to your lifestyle shop and looking at testimonials and seeing what people are saying about it and reaching out to your savvy sisters to make sure that you're positioning it correctly. It does have more compression. Okay. They look identical almost. The sports sprawl is just slightly different. It has more of a V-cut. Um, if you guys can see here, uh, there's more of a V right here on the Ashtanga, and it's more of a scoop neck on the Sommer. See that? And it's much more, I think they're tighter. It feels tighter on my body. Okay, another one that I'm going to leverage is that Challen long sleeve top. So when I am talking to my customers. I'm always starting off on product tester, but my goal is to get them in a full outfit. I want to help them elevate their wardrobe. Okay. So I want to try to get them in a sports bra. I want to try to get them in a pair of leggings and I want to get them in a layering piece. When you guys are positioning this, this is where showing VIP style club pricing is the way to go. Because if they're going to get three pieces, they're getting $110 shopping credit and 15% off. Okay, so keep that in mind. If you're having that conversation, remember you're helping navigate that. You're taking their hand and saying, come on, sis, I'm gonna get you in an outfit. We're gonna elevate your wardrobe. And these are the pieces I highly recommend. Um, River Sports for All, again, we just went through that. If you guys wanna see language on how I did that on social media, again, check out my page. Soulless Legging, highly recommend this legging. I love it, but just keep in mind it is high waistband. Um, not everybody likes that. Some people think it rolls. I absolutely love it. So it's not for all body types. So make sure you find the need of your um, prospect and what they're looking for. If they're looking for compression, if they're looking for instant tummy tuck, right? You all know about the Soulless. Highly recommend the Soulless. Um, Reef brawl and legging set. We have really good inventory in the reef brawl and legging set. And I actually did a graphic on this and put it together because I wanted people to see that this is a retail pricing on the full outfit, but I think the full outfit is a full vibe. I think it's a vibe. Wouldn't you guys agree? The reef is a vibe. And so I, 
I would have a hard time just going and selling a bra without the leggings. I feel like you need to have the set. And so make sure you're showing that set. Okay. And the new sun sports bra, you guys, this is our newest sports bra that just dropped. And so if you guys do not have it, it only comes in black, but try to go out and get it. Um, any new sports bras I'm trying to buy, I want to wear, I want to product test myself, and then I can speak from my own experience when I position it. Okay. I think it's a gorgeous piece. And for those of you guys that do not know this, the old sun sport sun, the old sun's sports bra is still on the website. The pricing is different. And the old Sun Sports Bra has four straps opposed to the new Sun Sports Bra, which has three straps. So make sure that you guys are aware of that. So if you're thinking, oh, I got the Sun Sports Bra, which I did, and I want to go share my own graphics, don't do that because it's a different bra. Make sure that you're telling people that. And the Des Sports Bra, and Jesse Galmas, she actually did this picture and it went viral. And I think that this was very good for her business. She modeled this for her team and they went out and sold a ton of Des. So just so you guys know, we have a lot of Des in stock, okay? Those are some of the ones that I'm really gonna be featuring. I don't have all my graphics done yet, but for now that gets me into activity to build my customer base, okay? All right, what is the only other thing I need to share? I think that's it. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. I'm gonna go back to all of you guys here and check the chat and see if you have any questions. So I'm here to answer any questions on how what my strategy is like this month. I'm also sending out emails to all of my customers and or people that would like to um, work with me. And, and I'm doing an opt-in through my emails that allow people to enter in to win a free sports bra. So I am giving a free sports bra away and in order for them to enter, they do have to fill out my opt-in and then in exchange, I get their email address. Once I get their email address, they're going to be a part of my email campaign where I do what I call an email nurture sequence. And I thank them for being a part of my sports bra giveaway. I make sure they understand that my giveaway is on February 3rd. They're gonna to wanna to stay tuned to my personal Facebook page and Instagram to hear the winner. So it's gonna keep them engaged. And in my nurture sequence, then I'm gonna to continue to drip on them and make sure they understand what it's like to be a customer and get our discounts. What it's like to have a link that they can share and earn free product credit. So I will be educating them in my email sequence. Now, you don't have to do emails to share the same information. You can still type out all of this stuff and continue to drip on those people. Um, that same kind of information. It's just however you want to do it. A lot of people are using ATM pages too, and you can just go tag them in that sports bra um, that they're interested in, and then they can see customer testimonials. So let the ATM page do that work for you. There's a lot of creative ways that you guys can do this, okay? Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. I know I did a lot more talking, a little bit more tutorial, but um, I think it's very important that um, we are really leveraging this inventory that we have, you guys. There is so much in there, and um, I think you're going to be very encouraged um, by your results once you start to, um, you know, start to try to get people in these clothing. All right, I'm going to go check my questions here. <clears throat> I love the testimonials in the comments, you guys. This is very powerful and why power hours are also really good because you can see customer testimonials right here in this group on examples with just the Ashtanga and Samar. You can see right here, if you have questions and are curious, maybe you wanna go buy some pieces and you're like, what do you guys think about this new river brawl? What are you thinking about it? This is where your, your community can help right here in this power hour and answer those questions for you. Thank you guys for being so um, interactive. Okay, how often do I email my customers weekly, but I have my own strategies around that. I'm probably gonna be doing, I'm upping my game and my email game. So um, for now, also another thing too, I do not just do Fashion Friday emails. Um, I used to do that and I just felt like, 
I was starting to blend in with the other emails people get in their inboxes and it just started feeling very salesy to me. So I no longer leverage, like my main goal is not Fashion Friday anymore. My main goal is to serve my community. So I send my emails on Tuesdays and Tuesdays, according to the stats and all the research I've done and the training I've been in, Tuesdays are the best day to send emails. It's because the person on the receiving end, um, the open rate is more and the interaction is more and the um, probability of them actually opening it and reading it is higher because typically people don't read emails on weekends and Monday is a catch up day and Tuesday is usually the day and just think personally, do you guys open emails on weekends and do you open them on Monday? So think about even your own experience with emails, okay? Um, and how can we see your Canva creations? I'm gonna go ahead and drop those pictures right here in this chat for you guys. And um, hopefully they can bless you. All right, I'm gonna give you guys the last 15 minutes to get into activity. So typically I will not be talking this long. I just wanted to make sure that I use this more as a training to get you guys into those income producing activities. And I knew that was gonna take a little bit to share my resources. It should be dropping in the chat now. Do you guys see those? Carrie, you see them? Yeah, okay, good, thank you. <laughs> Don't wanna double my efforts here, hang on. And again, you guys can be as creative as you want on these graphics. Uh, it's so easy to do. Okay, I dropped them all. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. Rhonda says, do you post on their feed as well as a personal message? Um, you know, for my closest friends, I do. Sometimes I'll take a picture of us together because I just, I don't know, I, I like, making them feel super special. So I would say people that I'm close to, I do. But my goal in birthday messages though, is to get in the messenger and to get that conversation picked up again. And how are the kids? How's life? How's your job? Are you working from home? What's that been like? Try to figure out, you know, are they needing an extra income? And then, oh, by the way, I don't know if you saw my post today, but gosh, you need to get in the sun brawl. You would absolutely love it. And this is why. Yes, Taylor, these images are in this chat. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I just, I can't see them. So I didn't know if I was the only one. I have the Excel document, but I can't see the um, other stuff. You know what I'll do? Um, oh, Melissa can't see them either. What would be the best way I could share images? <clears throat> You have to download it first. We have that Facebook thread. I don't know if everyone's in there though. 
Yeah, we could drop them in there. We can do that. I have to click on the little arrow thing and then download it into my um, my computer and then it comes up. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Sunny. Uh-huh. You know, it's so different. Sometimes you're on your computer and you can do that, but then I don't know what it looks like on the receiving end if you guys are on your telephone or on your mobile. Did I say telephone? <laughs> do we say that still? <laughs> can you tell I'm in my 40s? <laughs> tell me I'm 40 without knowing I'm 40. <laughs> Oh, I love it. We have 10 minutes left, guys. So let's get into activity. Um, if you want to continue to uh, get into activity, one thing that um, you can do is go into SavvyOffice.com and go get your customer list, you guys. Go download that customer list of all the people that have downloaded your app and go message them with your product tester. Make sure they're aware. If you're gonna do a sports brawl giveaway, for example, make sure they're the first to know about it. Hey Mel, quick question. Yes. Um, and for anybody really, are you guys leveraging the lifestyle group or what is it? Lifestyle shop um, Facebook group or are you doing your own Facebook group? Because last year I was doing both um, and I would be more, I'd say more productive and whatnot in my personal one. But then I realized I feel like I'm doing double work. So I kind of paused that. Mm -hmm. But now I feel like I'm missing out on those people that were doing that. <laughs> So I would love to share on that. Um, first, I want to give a big shout out to our leaders that pour into those pages. You guys, hands down, there's a reason why ATM groups exist. And it's because all the, all the work is being done on our behalf. They are making our job so easy. So depending on how you want to build your business, um, you know, you can leverage that and getting people in it. Um, I do. Absolutely. I do. In fact, not only do I leverage it as a tool, I'm also posting my own pictures. So the river brawl is a prime example. You guys might've seen me in there because I, I just don't have time to do all the things. And, and I know that all of our leaders are really sharing with us the power of ATM. And there's a reason for it because they want to make sure that the only thing you have to worry about is getting in the clothing, falling in love with it, having an instant impact and sharing that with people and leveraging an ATM page that is doing all the work for you. And you want to know what's nice about ATM pages is that if I'm bringing my prospects in there um, and showing them how to do it, then they feel like they can do it too. Right. And then there's obviously the customer testimonial. So then if you happen to see like the river bra, um, then in the comments, this is where you guys need to be empowered as brand partners that if you love the bra, don't just say you love it, but say, here's a picture of me in it. I'm a size medium. I'm a 34 D and I, my rib cage is like 28 inches. Like I started sharing that kind of stuff. And then our, the ATM groups are meant to be testimonial. So our job as brand partners is to make sure we're getting in there and, and, and serving Leaders are providing resources, but we need to get in there and really beef that up with our own testimonials. That's just my own personal opinion, but that there's a lot of power in that. So hopefully that helps answer your question. I've become very passionate about trying to make my job easier and work smarter.
I'm actually going to upload those images to Google Drive and drop that link here on the Power Hour so you guys have it. I do know that sometimes when images come through social media, it loses resolution. So if you guys stay tuned, I know we've got about three more minutes, but I'm working on that right now. Okay, so I'm going to drop that link in the chat. You guys, I made it so you guys can be contributors. All right, we're co-creating this brand. We're going to keep co-creating it as a field. So if you have beautiful graphics that are working for you, please share them to that drive and feel free to share that link. It's for all to use. Um, we are one team and we want to make sure that we are co-creating as one team, one big picture savvy. So um, with that, you guys were at the top of the power hour. I truly hope that this blessed you guys. I really hope that you feel empowered to get out there and get the clothing on your body, take a picture of you in it, go out there and tell the world why they need it and how it's blessed you. Okay. And I hope to see a lot more of us on the customer pool. Okay. Let's go. Let's make January and February your best months, you guys, and create some momentum and show your team what's possible um, by modeling that for them. So I love you guys. Continue to tune into these power hours and stay close to the fire, you guys, because it's going to get hot and we're going to crank this sucker up. We're going to have some fun doing it. Okay. All right. Thank you. That was you great. Bet. I'm going to stay on for just a little bit. Um, I, I got to get my kiddos up. I got one that's in virtual learning and that is has to social distance. So I got to put my mama hat on now, but I will continue to keep this open for you guys. Well, you Thank can pass you. it on to me, Melanie. Okay. I was sick last week. Sorry.